Hello, everyone. Standing next to me is Chuang, and he is going to participate in On the Lead for Liverpool for Germany. Chuang, how are you today? Hey, yo, yo. Nice to meet you. Hey, guys. I'm feeling great. I'm you ready for the interview? Let's do this. Okay, sorry. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Let's, let's do, do this. this. How was the rehearsal today? The rehearsal was really good. I'm uh, very happy because like I could really enjoy the rehearsal and I had so much fun with the dancers and with the whole uh, lighting and um, with the cameras. Yeah, it was really, really great. Actually, I know you before the national final. My Vietnamese friend they sent me a video when you're a child, you are dancing in front of Britney Spears. Yeah. How was that? Im uh, how was that uh, experience for you? Um, yeah, it was incredible because like it was like a TV show. It's called Kleine ganz groß, and it means like. Um, talented kids could uh, meet their idol and my idol was uh, Britney Spears she was a great performer uh, um, like a great artist and um, yeah so I could meet Britney Spears and it was a surprise first when she came in I thought like oh that's a fake that's not her but then you know was she was sitting down next to me and she was we were talking and then yeah, I was like oh shit that's really her. <laughs> yeah, and the incredible thing that um, I was dancing for her, and she told me, like, hey, Trong, you have such a potential, and um, always keep on believing yourself, always keep on um, following your dreams. So with that words, with these words, like, I think, like, yeah, I carried my heart, and right now I'm following my dream, and I make my dream come true. Yeah, and then you were back to Vietnam, and you won the Vietnam Idol. Yeah. Does that change your life? Absolutely. <laughs> I never thought of like, okay, going back to Vietnam to become a singer or a musician, you know, uh, but it was just like pretty spontaneous because like, I was uh, on holidays with my family and then I just said like, okay, let's do this. Let's, let's do this. Do this. <laughs> Absolutely. And then my whole, my life changed like 180 degrees. Like I was living there and um, everything was new. I mean, like I grew up in Germany and I was born here, so I didn't know anything about Vietnam that much actually. Yeah, but um, I have to say, you know, if you are open-minded and if you just do things, then so many beautiful things will come to you. And uh, just, like, go through the door that uh, is offered uh, to you and, yeah, just do it. And does the Vietnamese pop music culture influence your music style or do you, do you, do you listen to Vietnamese music? Before, I didn't. But okay, I'm uh, working in Vietnam, so I have to listen to music, uh, Vietnamese music, and I do Vietnamese music, of course. And I have to understand the Vietnamese audience, you know, like, what do they like? What's the style there? And um, yeah, absolutely, I'm influenced because, like, uh, right now you can see <laughs> I'm wearing the Aozai, the traditional Vietnamese dress. And even in my performance in the Eurovision Song Contest German National Finals, I start with uh, Non La, it's like the Vietnamese hat. All oh, right, yeah. Oh, let me let me get this. <laughs> oh, here, and like you know, if you do like this, it uh, it's like for can I? Yeah, you look great. Wow, you. you look amazing. <laughs> it's like for for the uh, farmers um, who like um, how's it called? Like they are flügen. What's that something? Rice flügen. something. Yeah, like the farmers, they uh, make rice. Yeah. You know, and like the sun in Vietnam is like very strong, so they have to wear those hats to that they not get burned, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, so absolutely like um, like the v Vietnamese culture right now influences like my music and my life so so much. And let's talk about something about your vision. This is your sixth time in the national selection from Germany, and how does your vision song contest mean to you? It means a lot to me because like. First of all, like, it's my big dream to uh, be on that stage for Germany. Uh, and because of like our family story that in the year of 2000, my family got deported. And um, we got so much love and support from the Germans. So with the performance at the Eurovision Song Contest for Germany, I just want to say thank you, Germany. And really, like um, I want to give something back to you. And also your song, one of the strong song writer is quite famous in the Eurovision fan circle, which is Elsie Bay. Yeah, yeah I saw you were, su you were supporting her in the national final. Have you also followed other national final this year? Like Norway, like Elsie Bay, of course, like, yeah. Um, actually, I was watching the Spanish national finals. Yeah, Benidorm Fest. Yeah, 
that was like so cool. And of course, like uh, the Swedish national finals, uh, Lorene, incredible staging. Wow, like crazy, yeah. And Before we end the interview, can you sing a little bit of your song? Of my song? Yeah. Of course, sure. Okay. Mm, okay. Option one, go be sad, cry my tears, stay in bed. Option two, rise above all that. Yeah, I'm not like your friends, you won't see me pretend, cause I'm proud to be different. This is our time. Woo! Just give it, give it, give it your mind. Uh, and show him that smile, yeah. Just give it, give it, give it a try. Hey, yo, yo, say, come on, express your true self. Don't be no one else. Just dare to, dare to be different. Cause this is our time to be living, living our best lives. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And before we end the interview, final message, uh, final message to all your friends supporting you on Friday. Final message. Oh wow, uh, guys! I think like it's gonna be an incredible show, and it's my honor to. Uh, sorry, it's my honor to open the Eurovision Song Contest German National Finals, and um, yeah, I would be super happy if you guys would vote for me because I stand for diversity. I stand for fighting for your dreams and make your dream come true. It's possible because like it's d it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter how you look like. What matters is who you are and that you are proud of who you are. So let's go to Liverpool, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.